hi everyone welcome back today i'm gonna show how i made these clay charms these polymer clay charms and at the end of the video i'm gonna show how i made some necklaces using these charms so stay tuned so usually when i make these types of videos i would like narrate what's going on like i would narrate what i'm doing with the clay but i feel like at least in this part of the video it's pretty self-explanatory um and i wanted to try out something different i wanted to make a video that's more chatty so that you guys could know what's going on in my life and get to know me a little bit um i'm actually recording this um voiceover right before i'm about to go back to my dorm so i am a college student and i live on campus but Right now, for the past like week, I've been on spring break and I haven't done anything on spring break. I've just been like resting and I put off making this video and like record. Um, I already had all the footage from the week before, but I put off editing it until now, even though I had all of spring break to do it. So here I am right before I'm about to leave. Um, but yeah, and I like to, the reason why I like to record um do my voiceover at home is because i'm like embarrassed about doing a voiceover with my roommates because the walls are really thin and i feel like they can hear me but no one's at home right now so i thought i'd use this opportunity these last few hours to get this done So over spring break, I did rest a lot. I played a lot of Animal Crossing. I stopped playing it for a while, but I got back into it and it's like so much fun. I love my island. Um, if you guys are interested in that, you should definitely follow me on other platforms because I share like more small, like unserious stuff like that. Um, but the reason that I didn't really do anything over spring break is because I was so overwhelmed from school that i kind of just got burnt out and after like all of my midterms finished i just said that i just like didn't have the energy to do anything i was also kind of stressed about my um business i really want to open my shop eventually like sometime soon but i'm trying to figure out the logistics of everything because obviously i would be a um I would be a shop that sells like traditional phys physical stuff and I'm trying to learn about the process of like shipping stuff I'm trying to figure out what's like the best and like most affordable way to ship things so yeah that's something that's been on my mind hopefully I'll have a um I will be able to open my shop soon but subscribe if you want to see updates about that so you could probably see from the footage that I did like three different batches because I was trying to figure out how to make these bears and like the design of them. But these ones are my sleepy bears. I'm just calling them sleepy bears because they're like tucked in. A, it looks like they're tucked in the bed. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and paint them. Um, and yeah. Also, I got these paints from Target. They're like really cheap paints. Um, I had my own at home, but I didn't bring them to my dorm on campus because that would just be really heavy and I didn't think that I needed to because these paints, these cheap paints just work just fine and they don't really react with the UV resin coat on top of it. So I think they turned out fine and I thought I really liked how they turned out, which you guys will see later. So I'm just showing some close-ups of how they look after I painted them, but before I coated them in UV resin. And this is how they turned out. I made two pink ones. Um, one of them was more simple. I made like an orange themed one, a, bl a blue flower themed one, and then this yellow and purple one. So another thing that's kind of been on my mind recently is the as I'm recording this, they passed the TikTok ban in 
the U.S. House of Representatives, which I do live in the U.S., so I'm kind of worried about that, you know, as a small business, especially because I feel like TikTok has more um, traction, like more activity than Instagram Reels, at least for me right now. So I'm kind of worried about losing TikTok as like a source for um, potential, like an audience as a small business. But I'm wondering if like, first of all, if it actually passes also in the Senate and they actually like go through with it. I don't know if that will happen, but if it does, I'm wondering if people will move to Instagram more. So yeah, that's just been something that's on my mind. Um, let me in the let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Um, moving on to making the necklaces. So this necklace is kind of fairy core theme. The colors I chose are pink, white, and green, which I think they. Okay, so first of all, it started off with me making these flower, um, these like daisy charms with the six petals or the five petals for the pink ones and i had those and then i had these leaf beads which i wanted to use which kind of inspired this necklace and this is how it turned out i think it looks so pretty like on its own but with the um, bear charm i like it even more i think the colors look really nice together and this is how it looks like on me so next up i wanted to make a necklace using this purple and yellow sleepy bear charm i had this bead kit it's like a kid's bead kit that i had from such a long time ago from when i was a kid and i wanted to like use it somehow so i thought i'd use these purple and yellow beads i was kind of iffy about these ones because the yellow part looks kind of green in real life so i didn't end up using those i also made these um star beads out of air dry clay a long time ago and I painted them yellow which I used um as a part of my business I really want to make my own beads like out of clay which I know is like a tall order um to put on myself but I really believe in like trying to do things myself and especially if it's like as opposed to buying things from um the fast fashion sketchy web websites like I do not buy any of my beads from Shine or Sheen or from Timu because I think those websites are um, unethical. I don't know a lot about them, but you can do your own research. But yeah, I really want to get into like making my own beads out of clay, polymer clay in the future eventually. But yeah, these star-shaped ones are made out of air dry clay. But I think they ended up turning um, looking nice. I think they would just be better if it was polymer clay and this is how the necklace turned out I really like it I made it um, more heavy on the yellow which I think made it look really nice so that is the end of my video thank you guys so much for staying till the end um, please make sure to like comment and subscribe